Hello, Troy A, Shadowing Phronix, taking part in the Art Sound Off Challenge. Hope uh, Veteran Day was, went well for you. Um, so I've been kind of thinking back to the web and speaking this year, and I just want to say something. I need to make something perfectly clear. Um, if I sound like some knowledgeable guru imparting wisdom from the heavens, or if I'm coming off that I think of myself that way, I don't. <clears throat> I, I need to make it clear as I'm doing this art sound off. And it's probably a little more so this year because uh, there, are so, there are so few other partic participants. Um, I'm probably the least knowledgeable person in among art sound off me. I, um, you know, I have stuff published on the web that I publish myself. I've had a failed sprite comic. I've had a weekly comic strip. I've had a few downloadable PDF files. PDF comics you can download. And I've been making comics by folding paper in half since uh, middle school. But, you know, I don't have anything like published. I don't, I've never made money off my work. I'm not, um, I'm somebody who's still in a lot of ways, learning myself. And the, a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about here when I do my art sound offs <clears throat> come from the perspective of a critic because I've been running a website for. Uh, see, sometime next week it'll be 13 years by now? 14, 14 something like that. I started in 2008. <clears throat> so you, uh, you do the math there. I won't slow you down by trying to do it myself. Um, but I'm not like the super knowledgeable person. I'm, I'm still learning a lot myself. I've only recently, <coughs> excuse me a minute. I've only myself just started really getting a handle on shading. And I think the... <coughs> I think the Clip Studio Paint tools um, have been a large part in helping me with that, but it's, it is something that I'm just starting to figure out now, and it's something that I've never really had a handle on because it's not something that I really bothered using for the longest time. Um, now I'm I'm starting to do it a bit more. I'm starting to get more of a feel for shading and when it should be done, where it should be shaded. <clears throat> Um, but it's something that I'm still working on. And a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing is stuff that I've seen from other people and I'm just kind of relaying what I've been what I've been learning over time. And, you know, like <coughs> sorry, I, I hope I'm not I'm sorry if you're listening to headphones. I keep seeing this every time I go to clear my throat this thing shoots into the red. Um I understand I am I am still learning. I'm still you know what I'm... <sighs> Dang it, I lost my train of thought now, again. There's... It's the stuff that I've I found out of where I'm kind of imparting, but I would encourage you to go check out some of the people. Last year, I posted a, an art sound off with numerous uh, other creators that I think you guys should check out. And I would encourage you to go... <clears throat> Look up that one. It'll be if you're watching this on YouTube, there's I'm gonna try and stick the the card or whatever in there, and it's gonna be from and it's gonna be in the Art Start Off 2020 playlist too. Um, I don't remember the name of the video offhand. <coughs> no, but hang on a minute. Okay, so hopefully that's out of my throat now. Um. But these are you know, these are people who are more knowledgeable than I. And then you know, if you look for the art so, art sound off hashtag on Twitter, um, I'm kind of dominant because the way I the way I post is on the BW Twitter channel Twitter feed is the stuff that I post on my website. Excuse me. And then my personal feed is the stuff that I. Is also the stuff that I post from my website, but also stuff that posts to uh, Tumblr, and and 
when I post a new article on my site, it posts a, a link on Tumblr. So it ends up coming up, uh, <clears throat> coming up three times. And my apologies to the other heart sound off participants over the years. I'm not trying to crowd you out. It's just the way that I've kind of been promoting things over the years. And so that's why I end up usually end up with three posts to my art sound offs because I have my personal feed that I keep separate from the uh, BW feed. This way I can post things there and on the Tumblr that doesn't necessarily affect my brand, but at the same time <clears throat> these are still things I'm working on, so they get posted through my personal and they get posted to my Tumblr, which also gets posted to my personal. If I post something on Tumblr separate, it won't get posted. It only has the one post. If I post something from BW, it ends up posting three times, twice on my personal Tumblr, my personal Twitter. It's kind of a mess, and again, I am, I do apologize for that. It's just kind of the way um, I'm promoting myself through Tumblr and through uh, my site so that people see my work and uh, postings that I make and things that I share. <clears throat> um... Like I said, I'm not. <clears throat> <clears throat> not even very good at this. I just can't stop clearing my dang throat. Um, but I'm not. I'm not. At the same time, I'm not like an expert. Uh, certainly compared to art art sound. At the same time, I'm not completely ignorant either. I've, you know, I've been following storytelling throughout the majority of my life. Um, in very numerous forms, articles, comics, or no, television, movies, books, comic books, audio dramas. I've seen video games rise to become a, a form of storytelling. You know, I've followed this. I'm, I've always been interested with the art of storytelling, which is one of the things that got me into storytelling. So I, I know it from a fan's perspective. I know it from a. <coughs> creative perspective because being a fan is what made me be a creator and I know it from a critic's perspective because not going to school not going to the, some fancy art college or taking some uh, high class story writing courses in school um, out of some school or stuff I'm not <clears throat> what you call an intellectual so it's through critiquing others' work that I've kind of learnt, started to learn things. The difference between my personal tastes and um, <clears throat> my and what's whether the quality of work, quality of work versus quality of adaptation. <clears throat> you know, just because I like something doesn't mean it's necessarily good, and just because I hate something doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that's bad. It's just kind of how I got involved. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not, if I'm coming off as some kind of smart guy or somebody who thinks he's smart and he isn't, um, that's not the case. I know my limitations as, as far as my knowledge in this, but these are still things that I have picked up. These are still things that, um, I have learned that I've trying to make myself better. Sometimes I'm also talking to myself, you know, trying to, kind of give myself a pep talk through Art Sound Off. So, understand that. I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm some expert and this is the way you should do things. You should totally be listening to me because I know everything. I don't. But I do know enough that I feel comfortable discussing the things that I've learned and talking about the things I've learned as a critic, as a fan, as, <clears throat> as a creator. Um, through all these different sources that I've learned, um, listening to to experts who aren't um, dropping the fancy big words, to listening to fans who just happen to want to put their opinions out there, by listening to people who make the stuff and what they say, and I've kind of, I've kind of been learning through that way, <clears throat> and then of course learning through uh, doing myself and. <clears throat> Just tricks that I picked up along the way, so I don't want to sound. I don't want to come off an art sound off as some 
big expert or some know-it-all or or somebody who's talking out of their backside. I'm not doing any of those things. These are the things that I picked up, and I, you know, <clears throat> I I do welcome um, thoughts on the things I say. Which, I, in fact, I wish I, I get likes, but I don't really have enough people discussing the stuff that I say. You know, am I making sense? Am I not making sense? Um, am I coming off as a, as someone trying to be trying to act more knowledgeable than I? I'm not. Um, I know my limits, but I also know that I do know things. I may not know everything. I'm not um, <clears throat> some, any kind of genius on this. I'm not some kind of learned scholar, but I, these are things that I have picked up throughout the course of my life and through, through my love of storytelling, <clears throat> through my critiques, through making stuff, through listening to people. Um, and I hope that you know, somewhere out there I come up with something that helps other people or gets the discussion going. <clears throat> so that's how I'm coming, how I'm approaching Art Sound Off. Not as an expert, but as as a fan, as a critic, and as a creator who still, who, in a way, I'm still learning things myself. And I hope to get her. That's, you know, what I was talking about with the, with the, the one earlier this week on having questions. I don't know everything. But this is I can't. This is the stuff that I do know. This is the stuff I do want to talk about, and I want to see what uh, other people think on these subjects. So um, <clears throat> I hope I've made that clear. Yeah, wish I could, wish my throat was clear. Um, but if you want to uh, check out more of my stuff, get an idea of what thirteen years of writing about storytelling has taught me. Uh, you can go to my website bwspotlight.com and and read up and check out previous art sound offs and see the comics I create. And if you want to join in and do your own art sound off, <clears throat> artsoundoff.com tells you how to set that all up. So I'm going to do something to flush this throat out. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little more um, experimenting on the recording side uh, next week as I prepare for. The big project that I, the big thing that I want to do in this year's Art Sound Off. Um, so I will see you then, and until next week, have a good weekend, and I wish you all happy creating.